Hello, readers. Our next book of the day is Tuesday Tucks Me In, The Loyal Bond Between a Soldier and His Service Dog. Tuesday Tucks Me In. In the morning, every morning, my friend Lewis wakes up to this. Rise and shine, I tell him with a lick. The sun is up. It's time. Okay, okay, you're right. Hug first. Then off to the kitchen for my bowl. Here are your socks, my friend. And shoes with just a bit of slobber. Don't forget your medicine. Good boy, Tuesday, Lewis laughs. Good boy. Lewis is a disabled veteran. He went to war and he came back home in so much pain that he couldn't, couldn't live a normal life. So I do tasks for him. I even sleep with him, which helps control his nightmares. He has daytime nightmares too, called flashbacks. He gets nervous when people are around, or there are sudden movements or loud sounds. That's life in the city, though. So each morning we sit together outside our apartment building, waiting until his breathing and heartbeat tell me he's calm. Then I walk beside him, always on his right side, so Lewis knows that I am there. And now he takes me everywhere, to breakfast, for coffee, to school, in cabs. Yes, even there. I told you, Lewis takes me everywhere. Every week, we visit the veteran's hospital. Seeing his doctors helps Lewis, but sharing me with other veterans helps him too. He feels like he's giving back. Veterans are my pack, he tells me. He means they are his family. The hospital is stressful, so afterward we reward ourselves with a trip to the park. When my vest is off, I can be a normal dog. I run, I chase, I meet friends, both furry and less furry. Today, though, we are taking the subway, a serious mission for a service dog like me. Lewis has trouble with balance, and he used to struggle on the stairs. But now, he grabs my handle and knows that I am there. While we wait, I stand guard. The subway train gets crowded. Very crowded. Lewis doesn't like crowds, so he hugs me while we ride. Usually, the ride is short, but this ride is much longer. What's going on? Don't worry, Toopy, Lewis says. Toopy is my nickname, a combination of Tuesday and Snoopy. Rest for a minute. You're going to like this. Lewis always knows how I am feeling. He takes care of me, just like I take care of him. Finally, we're here. Come, Tuesday, come. Where are we? Where? 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 Now this is a park. What a day, what a day. Lewis is happy. I am happy. Now one last thing. Wait, yes, right there. Hey, I may be working, but I'm still a dog. 
Back home, Lewis and I have a quiet dinner. We watch our favorite videos, dogs of course, answer emails, play with toys. Then, just like every night, Lewis brushes me from the top of my head to the tip of my tail. He cleans my ears and wipes my paws. He even brushes my teeth. Chicken flavor toothpaste. Yum. Finally, we hug and kiss and say our prayers. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Angels watch me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Amen. I know Lewis needs me, but he loves me too. I've heard him say many times, I have been brave in my life, but I've been sad too. I've been afraid, and I've been alone. But now when Tuesday tucks me in, I'm happy because I'm home. A note from Lewis. A note about service dogs. Tuesday is a service dog. Service dogs are trained to help people with disabilities live more independent and happy lives. Tuesday started his training at three days old at an organization called ECAD, Educated Canines Assisting with Disabilities. When he finished his training two years later, he knew 80 commands. Since I partnered with him in 2008, I have taught him about 60 more. He knows basic commands like side, walk exactly beside a person on the right, and more complicated tasks like turning on lights, opening drawers, and fetching an object out of a room. My disabilities, including post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, and traumatic brain injury, TBI, are the result of war. In 2003, after I was wounded in Iraq, I started, to have dif I started having difficulty sleeping and walking without pain. After my second tour of duty ended in 2006, things got worse. Eventually, I stopped leaving my apartment. I felt angry and ashamed about my conditions, and I withdrew from friends and family. Tuesday saved my life, and dogs like him, trained by wonderful organizations like ECAD, have saved the lives of other veterans too. Today, Tuesday and I spend our time visiting disabled veterans and advocating for better treatment of all people with disabilities. I still have difficult days, but Tuesday is always there for me. He listens to my breathing and heartbeat. Did you know dogs can hear human heartbeats? And knows when I am about to have a panic attack. He nuzzles my arm so that I remember where I am. I try to repay Tuesday's love every day with grooming, petting, and affection. We are best friends, and I would never let anything bad happen to him, just like he would never let anything bad happen to me. It's hard to be a service dog, just like it's often hard to be disabled, but I would never change who I am or who Tuesday is. Please always respect service dogs and the people who need them. If you want to know more about service dogs, wounded warriors, and ways to help the disabled, please visit the ECAD website or TuesdayTucksMeIn.com. With blessings and golden hugs, Lewis and Tuesday. <laughs>